This video will get you started with digital twin in relay sim test. We are going to simply test the auto reclose function using a relay sim test and digital twin. For this purpose, we are going to use the file prepared earlier. In the power system tab, please find the device in the menu bar and add digital twin connection icon to the topology under consideration. All devices present in the system will be assigned to the digital twin, which is indicated by highlighting them in blue. The test set configurations will be minimized, indicating that you are simulating a power system with digital twin. Double clicking the digital twin connection icon will restore the ability to test the power system with a conventional test set. However, let's return to the simulation with a digital twin. In the test cases tab, Select the scenario you are interested in, then press Execute button and follow the instructions. In the first step, we need to log into the Digital Twin environment, which is located at the indicated website. After logging into the Digital Twin, we are opening the Device List tab and importing the SIM files of selected devices generated in the Dixie 5. By clicking button in the upper right corner, we are able to do it. In our case, the files have already been imported. Then, we are selecting the other devices we want to simulate. The next step is to generate the state sequence XML file in the relay sim test that contains all information about the analog and binary signals required to conduct the test with the relay sim test. Therefore, we are choosing the option Create State Sequence XML. But be careful at this point, as the name of the XML file cannot be changed and must remain API reference file.xml. After saving our XML file, we are going back to the digital twin and uploading the generated XML file in the test files tab. As previously with SIM files, our API reference file was also imported earlier. Subsequently, we are making virtual wiring and assigning analog and binary signals in the routing matrix tab. We recommend starting the assignment with the voltages as it's presented, then currents, and at the end, binary signals. But be careful when assigning the binary signals. To define digital twin binary inputs, such as circuit breaker states, we are selecting the API reference file as a source and corresponding relay as a destination. To define digital twin binary outputs, such as trip or pickup signals, we are selecting our relay as a source and API reference file as a destination. Once all signals have been configured, digital twin and relay sim tests are almost ready to cooperate. To start the simulation of protection relays, we are pressing the start button, which is located next to the main menu button. As we can see right now, the simulation is starting. So in the meantime, when simulation is initiated, we are copying the API password from the main menu of the digital twin by choosing appropriate option, which in this case is API password. Then we are copying it to the clipboard. And we are going back to the relay sim test to paste the API password in the appropriate place. After doing that, we have to make sure that digital twin simulation is working properly. We can do it by selecting the device tab on the left ribbon in the digital twin. As we can see, the relay is working properly right now. Therefore, we are ready to start the testing with a relay sim test. We can execute right now chosen test scenario by pressing 
continue button in Relay SimTest. As we can see, digital twin relays are responding to simulated relay sim test signals, and relay sim test receives the feedback pickup, trip, and close signals as well. The test takes a while because of enabled iterative closed loop option, which allows testing auto reclose function in this case. We hope this information was helpful and that you enjoy working with a Relay SimTest. Thank you for your attention.